All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this leaf falling off a branch and it folds over as it falls, and also some techniques to make some ambient leaves that kind of dance around and wave around uh, in the wind. All right, so there's a few different techniques we're gonna go over, so if you wanna skip around to any part of the video, there's gonna be timestamps below feel free to use them. That's why I put them in the video. All right, so let's just jump right into this. It's gonna be a quick one. So first thing I wanna do is on one of these ambient leaves, to give it a kind of a wavy warpy effect, we're gonna look up a wave warp, right? And let's just throw this right on here. And if we zoom in, we're gonna notice that the wave warp is too small right off the bat. Okay, it's just sending these little ripples through here. So we wanna bump up the height a little bit and we really wanna bump up the width, all right? Real big style. So I'm gonna hold shift and do it. That'll make the numbers go bigger. So let's maybe bring it up to like 700, something like that. And if we press play, okay. Uh, the wave uh, size looks good, but it's too fast. So instead of one, let's do point 0.1, and then let's put the direction in the direction of the leaf, okay? So something like that. I think this is cool. It's maybe a little slow, but um, it's more subtle. And then when we put other effects on top of it, I think it'll work well. All right, so then with this wave warp, I also want to, I want to bend this leaf, okay? So let's add a bend it to it, a CC bend it. All right, so when we do this, um, it, uh, it, something weird's happening, okay? So we need to fix these start and end points. The start is gonna be where the leaf starts. The end is gonna be where the leaf ends, all right? So now from here, we can bend this leaf, boom, boom, like that. But you'll notice now it's getting cut off. So what we need to do is we need to grow these bounds, all right? So we're gonna look up a grow bounds. We're gonna throw this on here like this. And if we try to grow these bounds, it ain't working. And why is that? It's because the grow bound needs to go before the bend it, all right? And now it'll work, cool, just like that. And if you bend it and it, has not grown enough of the bounds, we'll just grow it more, all right? I don't really feel like bending this manually like this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zero this out, boom, and I'm gonna type in a wiggle expression. Alt click on the stopwatch, we'll type in wiggle, open parentheses, and here what I wanna do is, I don't want it to be too fast, so let's do a low number, maybe like 0.25, comma, I don't know, 150, something like that. What this will say is every 0.25 seconds, it's gonna wiggle uh, 150 pixels of the bend, that property. So it's gonna look something like this. Let's let this buffer. And now I think this is actually a little bit um, too much. So let's drop this down by a lot. Maybe instead of 150, it's like 35. All right, and well, let's buffer again. I think something like that's a little bit better. Now what we can do is we can just straight up copy these effects like this. We could paste them on our other leaves. We could copy them on all the other leaves here. Now, all these effects, they're gonna start to make things go a little bit slow. It is what it is. If you've got a lot of leaves here, it might start to clog up your scene. So what you could do while you're working on stuff is just turn off the effects like that. You can see I also have some color effects on, on here and just do that while you're working, turn it on and off. So now what I wanna do is I want to make this leaf fall off and fold over, all right? So what we're gonna do for that is we are going to add this to a null object. Let me go ahead and put the center point back in the center here. And I wanna add a null object to this. If you got motion, it's simple as doing that. If you don't, what we're gonna do is create a new null object, put it in the center and then parent our leaf to this like that great okay so you don't have to do it on a null object but i like to do it on a null object in case you want to keep the um anchor point of the leaf here and you want to move, be able to move it around like this and do whatever and then you can have the null object that is here and then you can move this around by the center and rotate this like this all right it's just little things that give you more control your choice chef's choice when you come over to this channel I so what I'm gonna do now is like, you could take all these effects that you made before, copy them onto this. I'm just not gonna do that for the speed right now. So what we're gonna do is, let's say one second in, we're gonna make a position keyframe and a rotation keyframe, boom, and go ahead a few seconds and let's move this 
off screen like this, give it a little rotation out like this. And what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna give this a nice little arc. So you can grab these bezier handles and move it like this and like this. And that gives it a nice little arc like this. If you're not seeing those bezier handles, then what you can do is you can grab this pen tool, click the convert to vertex tool, and then pull it out like that. All right, cool stuff. So now what I wanna do is I want to ease this these first keyframes so that it drops off the tree slow. All right, so I'm gonna ease these like with a pretty uh, intense ease. So it looks something like this. Let me turn off these effects off these other leaves so it loads a little faster. Cool, now we have like a nice uh, gradual drop off. Now let's get this nice fold effect on here. So let's look up a fold. Okay, it's not called fold, what's it? Corner, not corner, um, page, page turn. That's what it's called, page turn. All right, so we put the page turn on Let's see how this is working. All right, so right off the bat, you can see it's turning the wrong part of the leaf, okay? So let's fix that. So right now it wants to turn the bottom right corner, okay? So my leaf is, is because my leaf is rotated. So this is considered the bottom right corner. So we probably want this to be on the top left corner, right? That will be the opposite side, like that. That's the, the side that we want to fold when it's falling, okay? Now we also, this leaf, um, the, it's referencing the right um, layer here. You can see the back page, because this thing is it's a piece of paper, it's a page, is referencing the right layer. But what's happening, because I put um, a CC toner on it to make it pink, it's still green because it's referencing the original source. So I just need to pull this toner below this and now it becomes pink. I can also make the opacity darker so that it's not see-through, okay? And you could change other stuff like the fold radius to make it kind of more circular, like bend, like less of a straight bend, right? It's more circular, cylinder, whatever. Now, what I think I wanna do is make this um, fold start to happen when the leaf falls. So I will click a fold here and then as it starts to fall, the fold becomes more and more extreme, something like that over time. Oops, I should not have made a keyframe on fold radius. Let's go back. It should be on fold position. Okay, so it starts here and then we go forward and as it's about to leave the screen, then it's like really foldy like that, okay? And we'll give this the same kind of easing that's gonna happen. So it's gonna look something like that. All right, that's pretty cool. Maybe this one wants to be eased too. So it feels a little smoother. But it will look something like this. All right, eh, look better before, okay. Now you could also do to this too, is you could add a little wiggle on this fold position. So if we open this up, we type a wiggle, maybe like uh, 0.25, um, 650, so 650 pixels. And now what's gonna happen is, if I move this stuff, delay it a little bit, what's gonna happen on this position, if you watch this, this will move around a little bit. Let me delay this even more. This will move around, where'd it go? It will wiggle around, and if we like, maybe put this over here a little bit more, and you'll start to get a little tease of that happening before the, the leaf actually falls, and it can kind of have a nice little waving in the wind effect that's gonna happen before your actual moment of it falling, okay? And that can be kind of nice. Woo, you get the nice fold over effect. You know, it doesn't look, it's just, this isn't photorealistic, but it can be kind of nice when you pair this with the other effects that we have going on. So I'll go ahead and I will copy this wave warp, grow bounds, and the bend it. And I will go ahead and I will paste them onto this, bring them above. Now all together, we'll see what it looks like. We have all these nice little wavy in the wind effects and it falls. 
and oops, that is not right. What's happening here? Let's troubleshoot this. Live on the air, we have an error. I think what's happening is our grow bounds does not in fact wanna be below the page turn. So let's go ahead and put that above it. And there we go. Stacking order matters. Stacking order will get you every time. Let's re-ram preview this and check out what's gonna happen. All right, I think we fixed all the errors. Tree, the leaf is gonna fall and it's looking pretty good. Nice effect, boom, falling leaves, easy peasy style. Good stuff, good job, proud of you. Now, if this video was too much for you, too hard, then feel free to check out my Vector Visuals Asset Pack where Falling Leaves is just one of the many, many amazing customizable assets for After Effects that you can download. So for example, in our Falling Leaves part, you can adjust how fast these leaves fall. You can adjust how much they wiggle around. You can adjust their color profiles. You can adjust things like random seeds and the amount that they rotate. You can go into the uh, leaf comp and if you want to change out the artwork for one of your specific artworks, something like this, let me resize this, and then go back to the main comp. Now you have your own artwork in here that's falling like these crazy leaves. Check it out, links in the description. But otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your viewership and support, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.